What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to Off-Road Outlaws. Now, you join us today out here on my front porch, actually, on one of my new houses, or I should say, as part of one of my new houses. Oh, and it randomly starts to rain. The weather wasn't supposed to be this way today, but I guess it just kind of does what it wants sometimes. Now, a buddy of mine down at the local junkyard knows to give me a call whenever something weird or strange comes in, and he let me know that there was a squatted truck down there, and he was like, you know, this thing's next in line for the crusher, but uh, if you want it, you can just take it off our hands, and you can turn it into whatever you want. So, I'm going to look at it as an opportunity to pick up, basically, a project truck for free, and we're going to turn it into something. And, I mean, we've got more than enough space out here at the house to work on it, because we got these massive garage doors right here. I mean, this one is huge. This one is, like, honestly, not much smaller and as you can see, we got the good old F-350 shop truck just chilling out right here in the driveway. And I think now it's time for us to go ahead and hook up our trailer. And then we're going to head out to the junkyard and see what said squatted truck looks like. And also see if it's worth saving from the crusher to turn into an off-road machine. So let's get in the F-350 and go ahead and fire it up. And then we got to make our way around the side of the house and back up and grab our trailer. Now, normally I would go out and look at this thing before I hooked up the trailer, especially if I was buying it. But, I mean, dude, they told us we could have it. They, they literally said we could have this thing for free. So, let's hop out of the truck real quick. Check the hitch. That ain't going nowhere. Alright, back in the truck we go. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, so now that we're ready, to, we're ready to go, we can head out. And I gotta check my GPS to make sure... Alright, so well, that's not too far of a drive. Let's see what we can find when we get out there. Now, I do love this neighborhood, by the way. This neighborhood is... It's a little bit, like, you know, packed in. It's kind of, you know, all the houses kind of look, well, exactly the same. But it's not the worst neighborhood ever. It's actually a pretty cool one. Right around the corner from the PD as well. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick right. Oh, man, this thing, wow. With this new tune, bro, this F-350 rips. Absolutely rips. It's fun to drive, too. Let's see. Got the freaking amusement park going on over there. The Ferris wheel. Yo, we got some farm fields. This whole area, I love. Absolutely love this town. Yo, look at the shop. Oh, that looks so sick. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up to the junkyard and see what it is that we're dealing with. All right. Oh, man. I can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of it right there. That's a... Phew, that, I don't know about that. Yeah, I... Oh, man. Bro, that thing is, like, rusting out and everything. Let's hop out of the truck and take a look at it. Bro, this thing has seen better days. I mean, it looks like really all they did was put the leaf springs on top of the axle and put these giant shackles on it that are not in any way, shape, or form uh, good or decent looking. And it looks like it started to rust. Like, legitimately, it looks like it started to rust away. It's covered in dents. The rear is basically slammed. I mean, this thing is going to need some help before we turn it into anything. But I think that there's definitely a possible future for this truck. Maybe even as a... I mean, it is a Tahoe, so in all seriousness, we could turn it into, let's say, a Duramax-swapped mud truck. And that would be... Do you... Dude, that would be such a turnaround story to go from, like, a squatted Tahoe to a Duramax-swapped mud truck. Dare we get in and see how it drives? Let me see if they've got the keys in the office. I need to see if it even does drive. Y'all got the keys? Oh, God. Well, it looks like we're going to see if it drives. I, uh, I'm a little worried about this. I mean, I think the only, the only driving that I want to do with it is to drive it onto the trailer. And that's literally about it. All right, let me get everything in position here. Oh, maybe not. All right, easy. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. I'm like, bro, if you do not turn the correct direction, I am going to lose it. All right, detached trailer. Let's get in it and see 
what happens. All right, it's probably going to be really slow. Bro, that was flooring it. Oh, God. Dude, the brakes barely work. The e-brake doesn't work. Okay, yeah, I'm not driving this on the real road. We're getting this on the trailer immediately. This needs to get back to the shop if we're going to do anything at all with it. Alrighty then. Let's see. Can we even drive it onto the trailer? I don't know. I mean, heck, does the four-wheel drive even work? It seems like it might, but I'll tell you something. It probably won't be working for long. Yeah, um, we're going to have to get the guys to help push it on there. And then we'll hook it up to the main truck because... Yeah, I don't trust that four-wheel drive to not obliterate that front axle. All right, well, I guess we took this thing off their hands. I mean, and granted, they didn't want it, and I can see why. After driving it around the yard, I don't think I would want it either. All right, well, pleasure doing business with y'all. Glad you got in touch with me about this thing because let's just say we're going to make some major adjustments to it. Major. Alrighty, so now really all we got to do is we got to get it back to the house. And then once we get it back to the house, it's literally straight into the shop. So let's see. It's definitely got some weight to it. This thing ain't moving as fast as it did on the way here. I mean, I assumed that it wasn't going to move as fast as it did on the way here. But, I mean, it's not bad. We're still doing like 40 plus, 42 miles an hour. I really want to put the manual swap into this truck. I've been debating on doing the manual swap for a while, and I think the more I drive it, the more the manual swap makes sense, especially for when I go to tow with it, because, you know, the automatic gearbox, whoa! I mean, to be honest, if this thing flew off the trailer and rolled down into the woods, I wouldn't really be upset, because it wouldn't be any worse than it is now. <laughs> All right, making a quick left back into the neighborhood. Oh, man, they're going to get mad at me, because, like, literally me driving this... Oh, hey, look, a duck. But no, like, me driving this thing through the neighborhood is probably making everybody's property value go down. They're gonna want me to shove it into my garage as quickly as humanly freaking possible. All right. So let's make our way around the wrong way of the roundabout. Oh, God. I can already, I can already see all the nasty stares I'm getting from bringing this into the neighborhood in the first place. All right. Easy... And let's roll you off the trailer. Get you in the shop. Oh, man. This thing is going to need some shop time. Open that door. So now that we've got it in the shop, it's time to get to work. And the first thing I'm going to do is probably get rid of these axles because who knows how bad these axles and drive shafts actually are. I think I'm going to go in, completely rip them out, and put new stuff in. Now, in the front, this thing is going to get a Solid Axle Pro. And not only is it going to get a Solid Axle Pro, but it's going to be a Solid Pro Heavy Duty. Now, Heavy Duty is going to go ahead and get installed. Solid Pro Heavy Duty, that is. And in the rear, man, it already, it already looks better. Jeez. We're going to do Solid Pro Heavy Duty in the back as well. Now, currently, we still have these wonky street tires with these gigantic chrome wheels. And don't worry, we're going to be addressing that at some point in the future. But I'm debating on whether or not to leave this thing with the, like, slightly rusty look. Because I feel like it would be a... Almost a hilarious nod to where this rig actually came from. You know what I mean? So, axis width wise, we're going to move this out to about a 0.5, at least to start, right? At least to start. Now, let's go ahead and move you out to about a 0.5 as well. And here's where things are going to get interesting. Travel is going to go all the way up, both in the front and the rear. And it's already, wow, this is in a different league than it was before. So shocks-wise now, we're going for some really nice independent reservoir coilovers in a shock size of about 1.8. I mean, this thing is getting just big boy all the things. So let's see, shock size can be about like, what, 1.8? Yeah, thereabouts. And then stiffness, we're going to bring that probably back down a little bit, about like 12K, 12.5. And in the back we'll bring it down to about let's see what's nice and balanced about like 13 0 13 0 or like 12 4 12 4 is pretty good okay and then damping wise i'm gonna put you right at about 3200 that has worked for um that has worked for me before on trucks that are similar in style to this but i can tell you that for this amount of lift we're gonna need a much wider axis width for it to look right 
So I think we're going to go with about a 0.8 um, on the axle width. And then, you know, actually, actually, oh, dude, now I'm intrigued because, because we're going to obviously be messing with the, you know, the wheel radius on the, you know, the wacky setup. And what is that in the front right now? Like, what, a 1.3? So this is actually going to be really funny because when we throw the gigantic like mud tires on this thing, I feel like it's going to totally transform the look. And you know what? Again, as another nod to where this thing came from, I might leave these wheels on it. I know that sounds really weird and really goofy. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see on that. All right, I think I'm going to do like a 1.4 on the width. There we go, about 1.4. And then now, gearing tuning, I'm going to go ahead and put a stage 5 transmission in it, and then we'll come back and work on the tuning in a moment. So this is already coming together way better than it was before. And now we're going to go into the customization and throw a much better set of tires on it. There we go. That is, bro, that's already so much better. So much better. And then axle color-wise, I think we may do kind of like some kind of color accent. You know what I mean? Actually, I really like that. I really like the dark blue. What happens if we... Ooh, you could black out everything else. Or you can make it all like kind of like a brighter white. Or you can make it... No, I don't dig that. What if we just color match all of it? I feel like that looks overdone. And I think what we'll do is we'll do like a dark gray. The dark gray works. It's not, you know, anything crazy. It's not anything super over the top but it does work. So now, back into the customization options, front bumpers wise, I have a feeling that there will be a couple of decent options for this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off. I'm just straight up, I'm just gonna take it off and I'm probably gonna go ahead and take it off in the back too. And what do we have in terms of fender options? I'm just gonna cut them. I mean, hey, it's not like it's gonna hurt this thing any, you know? Like if I just cut them, it's not like it's a big deal. All right, we'll throw the light bar up top. Definitely going to want a snorkel, especially for what this thing is going to be getting turned into, right? Like a mega mud truck, you know? Now, in terms of exhaust options, with it being Duramax swapped, it's going to need, yeah, it's going to need some kind of diesel style exhaust. But I think, actually, with the exhaust running all the way, that, well, you know what? I mean, actually... With it being a mega mud truck, I'm not against having the exhaust right there at the bottom of the door. I mean, it doesn't need to drive on the street. I'll tell you that. So let's see. Throw the repair pack in the back and we'll throw some, yeah, we'll throw some Duramax tow mirrors on it. We'll apply these mods. And then now there's really only one thing left to do. And that is to actually make it a part of the official shop fleet. So in doing that, we're going to throw TC Customs on the side. I'm so pumped for this. I feel like it's not actually going to look that bad. So let me go ahead and bring... Oh, dude, actually, in that nice, like, just really nice black vinyl, that looks really good. That looks really, really good. Let me go ahead and duplicate that, throw it on the other side, and we'll throw it, like, right there. Not bad at all. You know, I feel like the whole setup actually came out pretty dang well. And in terms of like saving this thing from the crusher and what we were able to turn it into, it's definitely not a squatted truck anymore. I'll tell you that. Now all it needs is everything maxed out. And like I said, we were going to Duramax swap this thing. And that is exactly what we have just done. Let's go ahead and, oh my god, come on, come on, tanks, come on, there we go. You know what? I might even make it a manual. Y yes, I'm down for that. We'll make it a manual. And then full stage four turbo done across the board. And then now all that's left to do is throw a perfect setup on it. And then run through that gear tuning real quick. I think that we'll have a proper shredder of a truck here once we're done. Almost there. Ooh, 2 oh, 1, 5, 1, 1, and 0.9 will kind of be our baseline setup. And then now, we're going to load this thing back on the trailer. And 
I don't know if it's going to fit on the trailer. Uh, it's going to be close one way or the other. It's going to be real close. But now we're going to take this thing out and actually see what it is properly made of. And in doing so, I think we're probably going to find something legit. I think we're going to find something... I think we're going to find something even more than legit. So let's go ahead and jump into TC's Quick Race, which is, ironically, right down the road from my house. And, you know, it's actually not that long of a drive to get there either. So that's, uh, it was definitely a little bit of a factor when I was, uh, when I was shopping for that place. So I think that this thing is going to shred. I, I believe that this thing will shred. Curious as to how it's going to drive with that manual gearbox. Is what? Oh, God. Yep, the trailer got really badly hung up. All right. Time to drive this thing for the first time. Back it down off the trailer. Bro, that looks amazing. Dude, with it absolutely just freaking rolling it out of the side exhaust. It launches like a beast, too. Dude, the weight transfer when it, like, sits back on the rear suspension like that. That is insane. Let me ease you around. Oh, boy. All right. Time to see if this thing will put down a good run or not. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see the speed. Three, two, one. Full send. Oh, wow. The damping is definitely set up how I like it, though. Oh, dude, it's floating. It's definitely not the fastest thing I've ever had through here, but, like, it's not the slowest by any means. Right there on the rev limiter, into the mud. Dude, it's keeping the front axle up off the ground. Okay, this thing rips. <laughs> Dude, this thing is awesome. And real quick, just so y'all can see what it looks like when you do this, if you hit the rev limiter like that and then you hop out, yeah, uh... Basically, it's a perpetual smoke tune. So if y'all enjoyed this rebuild of what once was a squatted truck into a mega mud truck, let me know your thoughts and opinions and or suggestions in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.